Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kiwi, first tutorial in forever. Uh, if any of you saw my little update yesterday, you'll know what was going on. If you didn't see that, go watch it. Anyway, got some Microsoft Word stuff going on for you today. Um, anyone who uses Microsoft Word or any of the other Microsoft Office programs, um, I'm sure you've seen this ugly blue, well, not ugly, but I've seen the background so many times, it's just uh, ugly to me. Like, you know, every day in my keyboarding class that I had to take last year. And so I'm going to show you how to change that. It's actually quite simple. You hit the Windows Office Orb thing, hit Word Options or whatever Office program you're in, I'm in Word. And then down here under Color Scheme, select the one you want. There's only blue, silver, and black. Uh, silver, I'll show you all of them. Silver, you know, doesn't look that great in my opinion. But, uh, black looks mighty fine for me. So that's the one I'll be sticking with. And so again, you just hit the office orb, word options, and then choose the color you want. Other options you can change from here are, you know, language settings and username and all that stuff. Alright, the second thing I'm going to show you is how to make your essays longer. Uh, I just copied an article off of the BBC that I read. Uh, it's, it's actually three pages long, but I copied and pasted it to make it ten pages. So, basically, what you're going to do is hit the replace basically you type a period that's what you're finding and you want to replace it with a period then you hit more and then go to format font and see I have a font size of 12 for the whole thing so I'm going to change it to 14 and hit OK. And then hit Replace All. And 176 things have been replaced. Hit Close. And it hasn't added a new page. But before it was only up to about here so it's added almost half a page for 10 pages we can you know we can replace the commas too and hit replace all it's made 200 replacements and now we can hit close and now it's up to 11 and a quarter pages let's see what else we can replace uh, Let's replace the quotation marks. Replace all. 132 replacements close. And not much added. But you can make them a bit bigger. I wouldn't recommend going more than four font sizes above what you're using. So if you're using 12, don't go above 16. Otherwise, it starts to get noticeable. Because if you have, you know, if you make everything too big, then it's going to become really noticeable. See, now just by putting everything up to size 16 font, it added two pages, and it's not very noticeable. So that's about it. Another trick to make them longer is if you're not limited by font, Probably should just hit select all. Change your font to where is it? Arial black. You don't have to bold it all. Shouldn't really bold it. Because you know having an entire essay in bold kinda makes it a bit bad looking. 
And it's a bit obvious that you're clearly trying to make it appear to be longer, so just control B that. I don't think you can select all anyway. But by changing one simple thing like the font, it added five pages. Arial black may be a bit too thick, so you can stick with regular Arial, and that will work just as well. But Arial is just a bit bigger of a font than Times New Roman, so therefore it you know adds it takes up a bit more space. Yeah, it adds one page. So that's just about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate, favorite, all that stuff. And just a quick warning, I'm not responsible if you get in trouble for using this method to make your essays longer. So just use it at your own risk. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.